Among the many titles to choose from in the zombie genre like Left 4 Dead and Killing Floor, few can match the gameplay, fun, and overall experience in Dead Island Riptide. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Plug and Play. Brace yourselves as we try to survive on the island of Palani while caught in the midst of another zombie apocalypse. Dead Island Riptide continues off from the storyline of the original Dead Island game wherein a zombie outbreak emerges from the secluded island resort of Benoy. A group of survivors who were immune to the zombie virus has teamed up to find a way to survive and get off the island. Riptide starts when things go south as you discover that your only transport offshore has infected people on board all while you're sailing in the middle of a storm. Your ship eventually comes into collision with a rock cluster, and next thing you know, you're washed ashore on another island. As with most action-themed zombie games, the gameplay of Dead Island Riptide in general is pretty straightforward. You fight a variety of zombies using a wide array of weapons that you can get your hands on. Melee weapons are your main source of fending off the infected as guns in the game are usually scarce at the beginning. Know that there are multiple quests given out and you must complete the main ones to advance in the game's story. It's also worth noting that defeating zombies will grant experience points to level up your character. With each new level, a skill point is awarded, unlocking new abilities and making you stronger in the process. Keep in mind that the zombies also grow in strength as you do. At the beginning of the game, you can choose between five different survivors, each with his or her own specialization, so you have the freedom to pick the one that suits your preferred playstyle. There's also co-op mode in Dead Island Riptide where you and up to three of your friends or family can bring down zombies together. Having a group to play with means you won't have to carry heavy quest equipment all by yourself. Also, having people at your side means that you will not have to venture through those dark and creepy areas alone. Dead Island Riptide provides medium-sized open-world areas giving the player some freedom to explore around with the aid of vehicles for long-distance travels. It's impressive to know that even way back in 2013, the concept of a dynamic weather cycle has already been integrated, so you can expect the skies to darken and heavy rain to suddenly pour from time to time. There are also these dungeon-type areas called Dead Zones, which give off this dim and gloomy ambience, heightening the creepiness of the more dangerous infected that reside here. Once you've cleared all the zombies, don't forget to snatch some decent loot here as a reward. Dead Island Riptide takes you on a pretty long journey, with the average playthrough time of around 12 hours for just the main single-player campaign story. The best part of playing zombie games though is when you are playing it with friends or family, so this might be worth looking into to maximize the experience. If you want to get a better gist of the whole story, we recommend that you folks play the original Dead Island game available soon at the Plug and Play store. All things considered, we'd give Dead Island Riptide a rating of 7 out of 10. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions on games you'd like us to review, so please leave them down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, till next time folks, happy gaming and play it forward!